Hi, I'm Erin Down in Elmira, New York. I wrote an article for the spring issue of New York Archives magazine about the Derby Sisters, a trio of entrepreneurs here in Elmira. The first time I learned about the sisters, I was researching bicycling at the Booth Library of the Chemung County Historical Society. I came across this fantastic photograph of four young women with their bicycles. They were wearing long dark skirts and white blouses and staring directly at the camera. Three of the women in the photograph were Cora, Ava, and Annie Derby. And the minute I saw this photograph, I knew I needed to learn more about these women. Now, fortunately, the Booth Archive has this great collection of archival materials related to Chemung County and Elmira, including files about the Derby family. It's from those files that I learned that the young women liked to go on long bicycle trips. They would hop on their bikes and pedal 150 miles to Buffalo and then get on the train and come back to Elmira. I also learned that in 1914, the three sisters purchased a bookstore in downtown. Cora and Ava ran the everyday business while Annie was a silent partner. They were in business for 32 years until 1946 when they finally retired. And the Booth Library has some great materials from the bookstore related to the business, including photographs both outside and inside the store. The library also had this great collection of small journals that the, the women kept. One in particular, kept by Eva in 1892, was entitled Learn Something New Every Day. And that's exactly what was in that journal. It was new things that she learned every day, including when she learned how to make peanut candy, and when she learned that some young man that she was friends with liked to hug her better than everyone else. It's just such a great glimpse into the life of a young woman in the 1890s. That and the other information in the files really struck me, uh, that these women were different. They didn't follow the paths that a normal, typical woman born in the 1870s would have followed. Rather than getting married and having children, they chose to go into business for themselves. Uh, they devoted their lives and their time to their business and to bettering their community. Now, over the years, New York Archives Magazine has published a wide variety of articles related to state and local history. In its pages, we get to read about lesser known figures like the Derby Sisters, uh, about events that maybe people don't read about in mainstream history books. That's why I chose it as a place where I wanted to tell the story of these three remarkable sisters.